I want to look now at using your text editor to do external and internal linking. Now, what do we mean by that? External linking really is linking to other websites, other areas on the internet. Internal linking means going to some place on your own site, internally linking. Both of those are very important. Okay, the basics of adding a link are quite simple. Here's your two buttons right here. See, they look like little links, and then a broken link there. And when you mouse over, you can see the uh, text as well, Insert, Edit, Link. Okay, they're blank right now, or kind of grayed out. But what if I do this? I highlight some text, let's say. Notice they've now lit up, and I click the Link tab, like that. And it says, Enter Destination URL. Now notice this is blue here. That means it will erase if I plug anything in. And the reason they've done that is, typically you would be doing this. You're on a website, you grab the URL out of the address bar like that, and you come back here, and as soon as you paste, it's going to erase that. So that's why it was blued out a little bit there. And we can give it a title here, Aruba Website Beaches. And we can decide whether we want to open it in a new tab or window. I actually prefer to do that myself. Some people don't like that, but that's really up to you. And I add the link. And there we go. Now, one thing to keep in mind is it looks like this is up and running. Your link is ready to go. However, you haven't actually saved it yet. So remember, you've got to update your post, publish it, whatever you need to do to actually save this, save a draft, whatever mode you're in, you need to update because this won't actually be saved even though it looks like it's there. Okay, now let's say for example that was an external link. Let's say I want to link to another article that's relevant within my site. So again we hit the link button and up pops our little window. Now you'll notice down below it says or link to existing content. This is a great feature in WordPress because what it allows us to do, I'll just drag that up a bit, is I can look through my existing material and I go, oh, there's best nightclubs in Aruba. That would be really handy because I'm talking here about Aruba beaches, say. So I just click on it like this and it automatically inserts the URL for me along with the title. And I hit add link and there it is. Okay, so it makes it really fast and easy. And you'll notice, if you remember back, if I highlight this one again and do it, remember too, you can search. If you've got a lot of material, you can search through. And this is both posts and pages, by the way. So everything is available to you. And it saves you from having to try and remember, do I have anything about Aruba beaches and Aruba in general? I can't remember. Let me go find it through that method. All right. You've got a link. Notice what happens when I click on the link. I don't have to highlight the whole link. I just put my cursor somewhere in the link. Notice these buttons have gone dark. And if I, that means they're active. So if I'm over here, it's inactive. If I'm on here, they're active. Now that second button will actually take off my link. So I click it and the entire link disappears. So that's an easy thing to do. Now, if you didn't mean to do that, don't forget you can always hit your undo button. There we go, bring the link back. But that's how you would unlink. If you want to change the wording of a link, you can do that too. You can just highlight the wording within it and type, this is my new wording. So you can change the link without actually removing the link and so forth. So that gives you a quick overview of how to work with links both external and internal.